The Steam FPS Fest is a celebration of old, new, and upcoming FPSs. Some of the most played games in the world are first-person shooters, and they've dominated the world for quite some time now. The literal deluge of esports FPSs out there may turn people off from the genre entirely, but we've seen the resurgence of the single-player FPS, as well as FPSs with more deep mechanics than just pointing and clicking, and the rise of the indie FPS. The FPS genre is increasingly varied, many of which don't even feature gun play or even any form of projectile play, some feature full-on melee combat. These days, it's less about being the first-person shooter and just being in the first person. And there's also a number of those games as well. And in this video, I want to cover 10 different demos for 10 upcoming FPSs. I tried to get more and more varied FPSs, different types of FPSs for different types of FPS players. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech low-life lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. Do note that some of this footage was from PC gameplay as opposed to Steam Deck gameplay, and that's because some of these games, let's just say I preferred playing them on PC, but of course are still very cool. The first of which is a game called Out of Action. It's a stylized action PvP arena shooter, so to speak. No, it's not Quake or Doom, but it's plenty fast. It has a sort of cyberpunk aesthetic inspired by the likes of Ghost in the Shell. The demo is you versus AI, and all of the AI are on the same team. This gives you a great opportunity to really experiment with the gameplay, with the gunplay, and also with movement in general. And I really like it all. I like the gunplay, I like the ability to dive, I like all of the different gadgets and builds. The weapons feel really nice, especially the shotgun but I do wish the guns had a more punchy sound effect. I do wish the demo had a PvP mode where I could play against other people, and I've seen videos of people doing this internally, you know, beta testers and such. Also, I understand the developers wanted to make this a PvP game, you know, you play against other players, but I do think there is some potential here for a great PvE experience as well, if the developers wanted to do so. As for Steam Deck support, yes, the game works on Steam Deck out of the box, but there's no controller support, so you have to define your own controls. The next game on this list is Road to Vostok. It's a gritty, realistic, post-apocalyptic tactical survival FPS. There's a great emphasis on moving carefully, because one wrong move and you could be dead. The guns in this game hurt quite badly. There's a robust inventory system reminiscent of PUBG. You also have to manage thirst and hunger as well. But the crowning achievement is the real-time attachment system. So long as your gun supports attachments and you have the compatible attachments, you can swap them in real time. Having different barrels and sights really does help for different engagements. I suppose the only real issue I have is that there's no real sense of direction. The truth is, half of the time, I'm not entirely sure where I should be going. But I digress. Whatever the case is, this game is seriously fun. As for Steam Deck compatibility, it doesn't work out of the box. I had to turn on Proton GE to get this game working. And yes, with this game, there's also no controller support, so you have to create your own custom controls as well. On the literal opposite end of the spectrum is a game called Mad Mullet Jack. Thanks to human evolution, people literally cannot live without dopamine. In this FPS, you live 10 seconds at a time. Kills and drinks add extra time to your life. And as you progress, you get upgrades and weapons, almost like a roguelike. The game itself is very 90s anime inspired, but not just any 90s anime, those extremely violent 90s anime OVAs that your parents probably thought were cartoons. You know, stuff like Giver or Ninja Scroll or Kite or whatever. The game is really fun, but there's a lot going on, especially on the screen. Some people just may not be able to catch up to it. And as if you needed me to tell you, yes, this works great on Steam Deck, and this game actually has controller support. In fact, I'm recording this one for my Steam Deck. Shady Knight might be the only game on this list that doesn't actually feature any guns, at least not in the demo. It's a sort of first-person brawler. You have a grappling hook and a kick by default, but you also have access to other weapons that you can pick up from enemies or you can pick up barrels and throw at them, or you can do crazy stunts with your grappling hook. The combat is very freeform, and you always have actions you can do, even if you don't have a weapon. Above all else, this game rewards flexibility, your ability to come up with new strategies on the fly, as, you know, sometimes strategies don't work against certain enemies. It's a fast-paced game, and honestly, this is something you have to experience for yourself. And yes, there's a style ranking at the end. If you want that triple S ranking, you gotta play and master each level. And yes, this game runs great on Steam Deck. That said, some of the menus refer to keyboard buttons, but this game is fully playable on controller and has full controller support as well. If you like first-person brawlers, then Falling Aces also has you covered as well. This one's published by New Blood Interactive, the same guys that brought boomer shooters back into Vogue. You'll have to excuse my poor gameplay, I didn't really set up proper controls for this on the Steam Deck. I'm hoping that in the future there will be true controller support, but until 
then you kind of have to make your own controls. And yes, while at some point in the demo you can pick up a gun, your fists are going to do most of the talking. Well, that and whatever item you can pick up. Yes, I found myself dying more than a few times because I made some mistakes, like I blew up a door that I probably shouldn't have. But the game is pretty good fun. And honestly, I really like the gameplay. You know what would really be fun though? The only gripe I have is that these sorts of first person brawling games have no options to be a wrestler. You have no options of essentially grappling someone. No suplexes basically, and suplexes are totally doable in real life. This one is called Xfil. It's a small scale 4v4v4v4 extraction shooter. The only issue is that I couldn't seem to find anyone that was playing this demo, online that is. So yes, it is difficult to judge the game based on that, but what I can judge is how this game runs on Steam Deck. And let's be perfectly clear, the frame times and the frame rates are all over the place. What is worth mentioning is that the game defaults to maximum graphical details, when really, you should be playing on all low. And the performance is kind of all over the place, but this is is a demo after all, so I can't be too harsh, but it is worth mentioning nonetheless. The game technically has controller support, but you have no control over it. The camera controls are inverted and you have no option over controller sensitivity and whatnot. So the best way to play this game is to set up your own custom controls with keyboard and mouse controls. A game I've definitely covered on this channel before is a game called Peripatea. It's an immersive sim and it's potentially the jankiest game on this list. The demo has changed substantially since I last played it, or at least it's a different level. And here it's really easy to get lost, I have a problem with getting lost in immersive sims like this. The game works on Steam Deck but it likes to hang around the 40 to 50 FPS range. So this game has no controller support, you have to create your own custom controls, and I made a decent set for myself a while ago. But honestly, the game is extremely slippery outside of a keyboard and mouse. I might have to seriously tweak these controls later, but I mean, the game's pretty fun. If you want to play it, your best bet would be to play on a keyboard and mouse. Personal opinion, I mean. Hopefully the developer will create some sort of controller profile or controller support. So to get this out of the way first, Zero Protocol does not work on Steam Deck. I've tried Proton GE, I've tried Proton Experimental, but it doesn't seem to launch, period. So I played this game on, what else? A PC. I will say, the game is quite freaky. I don't want to say too much for your own sake, but you should definitely try it out. Just keep in mind, for whatever reason, the demo doesn't work on Steam Deck properly. And also, don't play this game at night. Evil v Evil has you take the role of a vampire, but like the cool ones with unique powers. It's meant to be a co-op shooter and you have multiple characters with multiple unique abilities. And yes, you can drain your enemy's life for additional bonuses. I do like the idea of vampire civilization in the modern day, or in this case, in the future. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the fact that the Twilight series, the book series with the sparkling vampires, has a literal vampire mafia, yet they don't focus on that at all, instead they focus on the stupid love story. That makes no sense whatsoever. Anyways, this game is running pretty well on the Steam Deck. As you can see here, it runs anywhere between 50 to 60 FPS, you know, typically, but it's not very stable. That said, this is a demo, so it's not necessarily indicative of the final product, but if it were up to me, I would probably cap my frame rate to like 45 or something. Maybe even turn up the eye candy a little. Last but certainly not least is a game called Celico. You know, I've talked about this game before, so I won't say too much. What I will say is that the game officially supports controller now, and it has Steam Deck configurations. And that's just the demo. The game is supposed to release sometime in May which is next month, now that I think about it. It's got the boomer shooter aesthetic, but it feels more like fear in terms of AI. If you like FPSs, do yourself a solid and try out this new demo. But the Steam FPS Fest isn't just a celebration of upcoming games, it's a celebration of games that are already released. It's a celebration of FPSs, anything from major AAA titles all the way down to indie games. What I have noticed is that these demos don't have official controller support, which makes these games somewhat, well, What's the word? Oh yeah, inaccessible to controller players. Yes, Steam input exists, and yes, you can use it on just about every modern controller, and a Steam Deck. But having true controller support goes a long way, especially for stuff like menus. But anyways, there's a ton of great FPSs out there. Lots of FPSs at various different price points. And a good portion of them play well on the Steam Deck. And yes, there's a couple of sales on those games as well, so if you want to pick up a game that's already out, and that's on sale, then now's your opportunity to. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.